You know, it's amazing. We became friends at the Fresh Air Fund in Central Park. And I think, like, in our phases of life, where we are now versus where we were then, uh, and seeing the family grow, your family grows. And I'll never forget saying to you, like, Stray, you're not a typical football player. You're a very charismatic guy. And people, like, would be interested in following you and, you know, not just you knocking the heads off of quarterbacks. And so you started your little gig uh, on ABC in New York. And now here you are, the host of all these big shows, the number one morning show. I mean, when you look back, you got to say it feels pretty darn good uh, to be able to take your very huge success off the field. And now you're in national media in the spotlight. Well, it feels surreal, to be honest with you, because I remember just being a football player and we're hanging out. You weren't doing what you were doing either. <laughs> That's we right. Were, we, hey, we were both two young cats just trying to figure it out. That's right. and, 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 you know, I'm trying to figure out what comes next. As a football, you're, you're, you're in the doctor world, and I know you have some TV opportunities. You're trying to figure out what these TV opportunities were going to be. And we would discuss everything. And like, okay, what are the pros and cons? And then to see that the right decisions were made for both of us with each other's guidance, you know, means the world to me, E, because um, it's it's great to have somebody that you grow into this with and yeah. you and you see progress and you're sincerely happy for and somebody who's sincerely happy for you because yeah. that's the hardest thing to find in this business. Like, someone who's really happy for your success and really wants to help guide you the right way, and you've always been that for me. So... I am eternally grateful, and the greatest thing is, though, one of my favorite things is when we're able we, we, to take care of our family and take trips with our kids. Oh, man. And we are overdue now, and COVID has not helped us this year, but to be able to in London with our kids and to be able to do these special things that I know I never had a chance to do in a way that I could do them now with my kids growing up and doing them with you and your kids is, is fantastic. So Yeah, we're I'm last in London, and we... Uh... Ran to Tyra Banks, who's now doing her thing, yeah. uh, Dance with the Stars. Uh, but the other thing, hey, we talk that some. If we run into you, you might get your own show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, you know, it's interesting you mentioned COVID because you know we haven't taken trips uh, like we do as a family. We had a great Disney trip with Chris Rock and stuff like that. But yeah. for you guys at GMA and even in Fox, what are you guys doing, and how has it impacted you guys trying to work during COVID? I know George Stephanopoulos. He he actually had. COVID at one point. So how are you guys adjusting? Well, uh, you know, when, when it first happened, Robin went home. She went to Connecticut to her home there to to isolate and do the show from home. George was in with, with his wife, Allie, who had um, COVID, and then he contracted COVID. And because of that, he was away for some months. And I, was, I went to the studio every day for several reasons, and not because I'm brave or I'm tough or I'm, or I'm anything like that, because I was frightened to death. Mm. I went because it was, for me, it was something familiar for me. Also, it was something familiar for the viewers out there because whenever we're going through something that was as scary as this was when we first heard about it, mm -hmm. you want to see something that you're familiar with, something that may gives you comfort. And so for me, it was important to be in the studio to give them comfort. And also, we have a lot of people who work in the studio who, if I don't go, and if George is not there, and if Ram is not there, no one's working. That's right. So... I'm glad we were able so far to get through it without a lot. I mean, we did have, we did lose Tony, who was one of our, um, one of our guys there to COVID. Uh, but for the most part, we've been pretty fortunate. And it has completely changed the landscape. In yeah. some ways, good. In some ways, bad. 